Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today I'm going to demonstrate the serial decoder capabilities of the MDO3000 series mixed domain oscilloscope. The MDO3000 has the ability to decode bus data into binary, hexadecimal, decimal, or ASCII values depending on the protocol. It will separate the decoded data into address, control, data, and clock information. In addition to decoding the signals, the MDO3000 can trigger on decoded content, including start of packet, specific address or data, unique identifiers, and more. For this demo, I'm looking at an I2C bus, with channel 1 of the scope acquiring the I2C clock and channel 2 acquiring the I2C data. I'll change my record length to 1 million points in order to reach the timing resolution necessary to decode the bus. I can change my record length by pressing the Acquire button, pressing the Record Length soft key, and using the multipurpose knob A to change the record length. Let's also change the horizontal scale to acquire more data and capture a single acquisition by pressing the Single button. To bring up the bus decode function, press the B1 button, press the bus B1 soft key, and use the multipurpose knob A to select I2C as the bus type. Press the Define Input soft key and make sure that the channels are assigned to the correct inputs. Press the Threshold soft key and set the thresholds using multipurpose knob A for channel 1 and multipurpose knob B for channel 2. The threshold levels tell the scope the level above which the data should be coded as a 1 and below which the data should be decoded as a 0. You can now see the decoded bus values show up on the purple bus line in the middle of the screen. Zoom in on the decoded values using the inner wave inspector knob and pan around the acquisition using the outer wave inspector knob. You can see the address bits bordered in yellow and the data bits bordered in blue. You'll also notice that the start of the packet is marked by a green bracket and the end of the packet is marked by a red bracket. To change the way the data is decoded, press the Bus Display soft key and toggle between hexadecimal and binary with their respective soft keys. You can also use the event table to view all the decoded values in tabular form. Select the event table soft key and then select the event table on off button to toggle the event table. The multipurpose knob A can be used to scroll through and select events, all of which are time correlated. And the event table can be exported as a CSV file if an external drive is mounted. To trigger on decoded information, go to the Trigger menu, press the Type soft key, and scroll down to Bus using multipurpose knob A. Press the Trigger On soft key, and select Address using multipurpose knob A. Set the address value by pressing the Address soft key at the bottom of the screen, and then use multipurpose knob A to change the cursor position and use multipurpose knob B to actually change the value. I'm going to trigger when the scope sees an address of 50 in hex. I can select the direction to write, read, or both using the direction soft key. Now whenever I press the single acquisition button, the scope will trigger when it finds a 50 hex address. Notice the orange trigger arrow is right above the address when I scroll to the actual trigger point. You can also search for different decoded values within your acquisition. In this case, I want to see all the places that the bus sends a 50 hex address. Press the search button, press the search soft key, select the search on off soft key to turn it on, and then press the copy trigger settings to search soft key. You can use the wave inspector arrows to jump between instances of the search event. Much like the event table, you can use the mark table to view all the instances of the search event in tabular form. Press the more one of two soft key and press the mark table soft key to turn the mark table on. The mark table can also be exported as a CSV file if an external drive is mounted. Instead of manually counting clocks, determining if a bit is a one or a zero, combining it into bytes and compiling all the information yourself, the MDO3000 will do all of it for you. 
This is just one of the many useful features the MDO 3000 brings to the test and measurement table. Thank you for watching our video. 